Welcome everyone to the Herbert H. and Grace A. Dow College of Health Professions College Days. You may be students, parents, relatives, or friends. Whatever your role, we're glad you have chosen to learn more about the public health programs. We encourage you to ask and post questions on our Health Professions College Facebook page. We'll be sure and respond to all your questions. I am Greg Zimmerman, a two-time CMU alumnus and associate dean in the college, and I'll be moderating this session. I also have with us Dr. Jody Brookins Fisher, Professor and Division Director of Public Health, and Leah Rutkowski, faculty member and academic advisor of public health. Jody and Leah, would each of you speak about the public health program, what you teach, opportunities available for students, and more? Sure, I'll start. Uh, this is Jody Brookins Fisher, and as um, Dr. Zimmerman said, I am the uh, division director and in um, a uh, faculty member in public health. I mostly teach undergraduate classes. I have taught everything from assessment, program planning and evaluation, to community health, to uh, diversity issues in the health professions, to public policy and advocacy. So uh, I feel privileged to be able to teach classes that actually advocate for public health in um, in different community settings and I've enjoyed my career here for uh, a number of years and so public health has has th this particular program is the oldest undergraduate program in the state of Michigan we've been in existence um, since the late 60s and we pride ourselves in having a long um, history and tradition of a solid, excellent program in public health education. Yeah, well, I'll add on to that. My name is Leah Rakowski, and I am faculty and do the advising here for public health. I absolutely love public health. I have worked in it for many years. I worked for about a decade at local public health and then about eight years in tribal public health and then just had the amazing honor of coming back here to, at Central Michigan University to teach in it as well. And so um, as much as I love the field, I just get so fired up over being able to equip students to go out into the field and make an impact. And as we see more and more every day, public health is so important. And um, I have taught everything, yeah, from healthy lifestyles to leadership, to methods and materials. And one of the things that I love to brag about this program is not only is our university accredited, but so is our public health education program. And so I always tell students that's like a gold star on your resume when you're out looking for work. Um, we also really pride ourselves on equipping students with practical experiences and practical skill sets that is going to um, go ahead and just help you be an outstanding professional. Um, you get an opportunity to do an internship, which provides you lots of contacts and experience in the field, even before you go out looking for your career. The nice thing about this program is you can be equipped for a lifelong career with just an undergrad, or we also have an excellent uh, master's in public health program as well. Um, so if students choose to go on to get a master's degree, um, we have a solid program that has set you up for success. And so um, again, being an alumni from here and working out in the field for so many years and now equipping students, it's just such an honor to have you here. And um, I hope that you don't hesitate to contact me if you have questions or concerns about the program because um, I'm here to help you uh, be the best that you can be. Just to add to uh, Leah's comments, um, I'm also um, an alum of CMU, as are my siblings. Um, we are first generation college students in our family. And um, so I know what it's like to navigate college for the first time and, you know, to have to do that as a student um, and find the resources that you need. And so, again, like Leah, I'm always here to help students navigate that process. Lee and I have also both had children that either have attended CMU or graduated from CMU. So um, we um, we really believe in, in what we do here and we, we love this university. Leah had mentioned that 
um, we were accredited, uh, which is a national accreditation. We are one of the first 20 programs in the entire country to receive that accreditation. And so we're super excited about that and showing that, as Leah said, we are a gold star program. That's great. Thank you for those introductions and some background. You know, again, as an alumnus of CMU, I pursued a, a public health education minor. And I know we have the, the minors, the undergrad and the grad programs in public health. Could you shed more light on why minors, what minors are available through the public health program? Sure, I'll go ahead and jump in because I do the advising. And so we have the community health uh, soon to transition into a public health minor. We also have a substance abuse minor, um, substance use disorder minor. And so these are two minors that pair well with lots of other majors, which is wonderful. Um, public health is gonna impact, uh, you know, it's, I guess I would say it's a wonderful to have an understanding of public health, whether you're going into exercise science, um, physical therapy, uh, physician's assistant, um, all the way to criminal justice, social, social work, um, counseling, school, et cetera, because really you're gonna be working in collaboration with those different type of programs to provide best outcomes. Um, and kind of bringing in that idea of having some understanding of substance use, just about anybody that you come into contact with um, is probably somewhere in their family tree or not too distant friend um, relation, et cetera, probably going to be dealing with that on some level or another. And so to have that understanding just gives you this rich um, background to be able to go and serve um, patients and clients in your community just at, at an even stronger level to be able to collaborate and come together, um, which I think, again, is a wonderful opportunity. So for those people, especially if you're considering grad school in physician assistant, physical therapy, they love to see people have that understanding of public health. And a lot of times we're seeing where they're having those dual graduate degrees where like, you know, physician's assistants, or we're even seeing that in the med schools um, that they're getting that um, public health as well. And so for them to know you have that groundwork laid in advance, I think just makes you an, um, an extremely strong candidate. And so it's an awesome minor. Either of those minors are really great to pair with um, any of the majors, um, even if they're, you know, looking at potential grad school. I think the other great thing about um, the substance use disorder minor is that it gives you a whole an opportunity for a whole nother career path um, within health. Um, and because after you take that minor, you can sit for your certification exam to, um, for, to be a certified addictions um, counselor. And very few minors, usually they accompany and, and maybe supplement the major with other information, but this actually gives you a whole other potential career path. And so you really um, benefit from, from that. And again, as Leah said, it pairs well with our minor, or, excuse me, our major, our public health major, or so many other um, majors on campus. And most students who take the community health minor, which again, we will be transitioning its name to public health, um, really feel that it's given them a better um, understanding of their clients and patients because it's not just treating that individual. They then can see the context of the community that that individual lives in and, and why that problem might be occurring. And so, you know, when we say we see someone and they're, they're dealing with obesity, you know, formally, you know, when, you know, we were back in school, for example, we would have learned how to do a program and have them exercise more and eat right. Well, now with public health, we were saying, well, well, why is that happening? You know, um, are there not sidewalks that they can walk in the community? Is, the, is, is their neighborhood not safe? Um, are there not nutritious foods available um, and they're in a food desert or experience food insecurity? You know, are there, um, are there zoning policies that allow for too much fast food in the area? So public health really just gives a more well-rounded picture to to what individuals are experiencing and i think it helps us to establish ways to 
make healthier individuals and, and healthy communities, regardless of our, our other majors and minors. That's great. Uh, you know, public health is represented across so many employment sectors. What types of careers do public health graduates pursue? We've really seen um, our students um, go into many different amazing fields and opportunities. One of the things that our major does is it um, instructs students in competency areas that really are far reaching as far as job opportunities. You know, we teach people how to assess and plan and evaluate and be a resource person in public health education, but really those skill sets transcend other fields as well. And, and that really gives students a, a great opportunity to have a solid foundation with the skill building that they that they receive. And so we've had students go into nonprofit organizations like the American Cancer Society or um, the American Heart Association or different other local community based programs. We've had students work in hospitals doing patient education, community outreach. We've had um, traditionally students have gone on to health departments and working in local public health and doing different types of um, community education programs in that regard. But really the possibilities are endless. Um, as Leah mentioned, right now public health is um, it's it's a degree that's sought out by students who want to go into physician assistant programs because of that information. And it's one of the top 10 programs of students who then go on to graduate programs um, in um, physician assistant. Um, so that that is um, pretty exciting for us. So they, it really is a good springboard for a lot of, of different careers. We've, we've had people do things, um, you know, as as interesting in working with community gardens in a community based agency all the way to being a pharmaceutical sales representative. So. Um, We've seen almost everything. We've had people join the Peace Corps. We've had people um, study abroad or work abroad in other countries. And, and so really, um, public health is everywhere. Yeah, and just to kind of um, follow, follow that up, I always say public health kind of throws the door wide open because instead of just one particular area, you have endless opportunities, which is wonderful. And, and one of the things that I, I kind of want to talk um, Dr. Jody Brookins Fisher up about, uh, because she is such a huge, huge advocate and um, students are also equipped to do policy, um, which is something that I think that we're seeing um, with uh, the current um, dynamic in our nation. And, really wanting to, to make strides toward um, seeing um, equality, to see um, those systems of oppression um, taken down. Really public health also gives you a great understanding of um, what does that mean? Because a lot of times you hear those words kind of thrown out and oftentimes I always say, we can only know what we know um, and this, major or the minor um, really try to equip you to have a good understanding what what does that mean and how do we address it because what I think oftentimes I've seen is uh, people have this heart to think well we don't want this to continue but what do we do from here and that's where um, I believe also our program really sets students up to understand uh, how do I advocate? How do I make change? And what does that look like? And so you have this whole range of, hey, I can be working either directly with um, clients and patients day to day, or I might have a heart to go out and want to be a policy changer to work with um, our, you know, those people we vote into office to say, I want our lives to be better. And I think that um, you will not find anybody with a bigger heart to do that than you would here at Central Michigan University. And really, um, Jody has has dedicated her entire professional career to that. And we, you know, we care about people and we want to see, um, we really want to equip you to go out and make a change. And a lot of times people have a heart to do that. They just don't know how. That's one of the things I think that public health can do is equip you to have an understanding. And if that's what you have a passion in, great. 
or you know you can be like i want to deal one-on-one -on -one with just people and i want to help them to eat better or understand you know how do i how do I be the healthiest person I can be? You have that whole range. And that's one of the things that I love so much about this program. And I feel so confident because this is a huge investment for students and their parents and their family members, everybody who love the, loves them. You put a lot of energy and emotion and time and finances into this major into this time at a university and we want it to be valued and you to leave here equipped and ready to go do exactly what you want and have um, the ability to not only live out your career and what you're passionate about but we're also concerned with that idea of being financially responsible and so we'll talk with you about that when i when i meet with students that's something that i think is important enough to say hey if you're taking out student loans how do we keep that to the minimum minimum amount possible so when you leave here it's um it's not a huge burden you know because it, it affects so many things later on in life and i want to make sure students understand that i have this heart for like you're going to be healthy and well and financially sound and be able to go do all of those things that that we're hoping to equip others for and so again that's one of the things that i love so much about this career you know i've invested my life in it um is just so that way um, we're empowering you to go out and be able to empower others and and i think that um that our faculty here i love our faculty they care about students i have an alumni who who every semester she'll call into at least one of my classes and do just kind of a real talk um opportunity with students for them to ask whatever questions they want and she always says one of the things that she loves that her sister who went to a larger university didn't have is she could come into any of our offices, even if she was just having a bad day and say, help, um, you know, what, what do I need to do? And, and you have people who have a heart also for the students as individuals and for your well-being while you're here at Central, because again, it's so important. And these are stressful times and we really want to be here for you and to equip you to just um, be well and to do amazing things. So I'm, I, I love this program and I'm excited that you're interested in it and I'm hoping um, to answer any questions that you may have. And I think that is a difference with um, us and, and maybe CMU um, and maybe in public health, we tend to be people persons. Um, and helpers in, in that regard, but we do have an open open door policy. So when you come down our hallway, um, ordinarily, um, you will have we have open door policy where you can just stop in and 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 talk to us um, when you have a question or you know when you need help. And you know, again, being parents um, also and and being alum of this program at one time. We have vested interest in making sure that students are getting their questions answered, that they're happy in the program we're passionate about, and they're they're not doing extra things that add to their load of debt later. Um, like Leah said, financial wellness is is one of those dimensions of health, and you know to set yourself up right um, for mental and emotional health. You know we want you to learn you know early on about making some wise investments and wise decisions. And so we see that as sort of part of our help or our, our, our duties as advisors because that is related to your 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 personal health and, and that's part of the big picture. Well said, both of you. Uh, we know CMU is a big proponent in advancing service learning and community involvement. Is there a student organization for the public health program? Yes, we have um, Ada Sigma Gamma, of which I am currently the, the faculty sponsor and have, have taken on that role at different times through the years. Um, and, and honestly, we're one of, if not the winningest chapter um, at the national level um, of this national organization. So it's, a, it's one chapter of, of about 150 across the country. And our chapter is is one of the first few. It's been around since 1970. But students can get involved to do um, projects related to teaching, research, um, 
service and advocacy and therefore they're going to get a good um, picture of what their career could could look like because we involve ourselves not only with campus and community projects but also with pro our professional organizations and so students get the opportunity to do things you know like for example this past year we did a lot of vaping and um, e-cigarette information to a few local school districts. Um, we worked before a football game with, a, with a, a high school and then a health fair for another high school. Our students had the opportunity to go to um, the National Health Education Advocacy Summit where they learned about advocating. Last year was specific to opioid prevention and then we got to advocate with our senators and representatives on the Hill actually in Washington DC. And then we brought that back and expanded it to work with other members in our organization as well as some undergraduate and graduate classes and we went to our state capitol and, and advocated um, for those same issues. And so we really believe that getting students involved early on is important. Public health has been traditionally hard for people to define. That's probably not the case since COVID-19 and coronavirus. Um, everyone can see us as essential workers and the importance of public health. Um, but we do try to give students those opportunities in their classes, in the student group, and through internships. We were the first internship, and I think we're still the only internship at CMU that has a service learning uh, credential, which means all of our students do service learning when they're out in their internships as well. And I think just to kind of add on to that is different um, courses throughout the graduate, uh, for, throughout the degree, allow you those service learning components. And that might be grant writing, which is a wonderful opportunity and a great thing um, to have experience in before you're out looking for a job in the field, um, volunteer opportunities, um, working with other agencies and different things like that to really not only get um, that opportunity of service learning, but also giving a valuable um, you know, uh, service to the community and to agencies and those people um, who are out already out doing things um, to impact public health. And so I think our program uh, really does a great job giving students opportunity to, to go out and serve and have an understanding. And so they feel better equipped once they graduate to know like, well, what, what will I be doing, you know, when I, when I get my first job? Because I think that can be pretty overwhelming to students as they come to that that time of graduation and that that internship absolutely equips them uh, to go confidently forward, which is wonderful. I know, like uh, Leah mentioned, um, the grant writing opportunities, and and it is a, a win win situation because our students learn a valuable skill and competency they'll need out in the field. But several small agencies that that aren't equipped to write grants or don't have the time or the skill set to do that, uh, they've received grant money. They've received um, funding for different valuable programs because of our students' help with that, which I think is so phenomenal. And they work on interprofessional teams, so they've been able to interact with students from health administration, for example. And that's how things work in the real world: is is we we work on interprofessional teams, and so that is a a great opportunity. Um, as the internship coordinator, too, I can say that our students um, really do set the bar um, for undergraduate students. And, intern and internship site supervisors throughout the state really do love our students and feel that their skill set at the undergraduate level is, is very high and, and, and they're sought after for, for jobs. Um, I believe our last survey we did, um, 96 or 98 percent of our students had jobs within um, six months of graduation. And really, um, we know a little bit about our students. We know a lot about our students by the time they graduate. And that could have been 100 percent potentially, um, except for um, that particular student's um, situation. So I, I think that 
you know, we, we really do try to give students that opportunity and they're competitive even with graduate students um, when they do graduate. And we just saw several students hired straight out of their internships um, from the agency they interned with. I know um, even for me as an undergrad, I did my internship. I was hired before I even graduated and we see that time and time again. And that's where, um, again, that idea of this is a huge investment and you're doing this right to be able to go out and be employed and work in a career that you love. And our program provides you with that. And the internship is such a wonderful opportunity. We see so many students either get hired by their internship or other connections they made throughout that experience. And so that's always wonderful because again, most students come to, to college hoping uh, to get that career right after they graduate. And we do a lot to prepare them, not only for the internship, but for their careers. Um, early on in one of the courses that, that Leah teaches, they, they set up components of a portfolio based on the competencies of our profession. And then throughout their time with us at CMU in the major and with other faculty members, they do different types of um, uh, activities, assignments, and um, other pieces that then they put into that portfolio so that by the time they end that internship, they have documentation of how they actually meet the competencies of our profession. And that makes them pretty unique and, and different from other people at, the, at their same level. When should a student who's interested in public health reach out to an advisor in the program? I would say as soon as possible. I've even met some students come through uh, for freshman orientation, which is wonderful because if I meet them early, we can look at, um, I work right in tandem with our college advisor. So we make sure like, are there some uh, courses that will double count for some of those that are university program required and other requirements. Uh, we can really make sure they have the most targeted kind of um, robust experience. Um, on the other hand, I've also had students who they start down um, in a major, they realize eh, it's not quite the right fit and they might come along in their junior year. So usually the earlier the better, but um, oftentimes, you know, I'll even have students who are in their maybe second or third year and we um, look for all the ways that again, we can get them out. Um, as quickly as possible, um, making sure that, you know, they've completed everything they needed. Um, but again, uh, get them, getting them plugged in, um, helping them set up that path to graduation because um, it's so important to, to have that relationship as soon as you can. So we can kind of map out what does it look like as far as your coursework? Are there some classes you wanna take before others? And so as soon as possible, um, but no matter where someone is along that journey, um, we're gonna jump in um, and, and help them to, to get the best outcomes. Wonderful. Uh, we're wrapping up here. Any concluding statements for our viewers? I guess I would just start to say that um, you know, I, I, I'm so passionate about public health and, um, you know, we, we want to leave a legacy for the future. We want people to be able to do public health in the field. And we have a, lo a, a legacy of, of people before us um, that have been so good at what they do. And, and um, you know, we, we, we feel that, that we have to live up to that and we need that for the future. And we are here to help you. We are passionate. Um, we truly are fired up um, and um, we're excited to have you. This is a, a fun major. It's a great major. We're like a family and we think that you would really enjoy your time at CMU with us. So um, sooner versus later, come and stop by anytime. And um, we'd love uh, for you to, to meet us in person and tell us that you saw the video. We'd love to get your feedback. Yeah, and I would I would just kind of echo that as far as, you know, I graduated from the program, I worked in the field, I love it. There's nothing more exciting than empowering students and watching them go out um, and, and start their career and make a difference. 
um, to watch them rise up in leadership positions and see them make a, make a positive impact on their local community, state, national, sometimes international, and really um, this, this public health education major allows you so many different opportunities. It's accredited. I believe in it. Like I said, this is um, a program that can set you up for lifelong success, no matter what you want to do. And, and we truly have a heart here as faculty to want to support you 100% uh, along your journey. And so we're excited. We're excited that you're interested in public health and definitely look forward to meeting with you. Okay, that concludes our session of the public health program. We again want to thank you for your interest in CMU and the Herbert H. and Grace A. Dow College of Health Professions. Don't forget to post your questions to our Health Professions Facebook page. We'll be sure to answer those. We look forward to seeing you soon. In the meanwhile, thanks again. Stay safe. Be well. And fire up, Chips! <laughs> fire up.